My friends and I tried to create a commercial for something that's usually pretty boring, sparkling water, and make it as exciting as possible. And to make it even more of a challenge, we wanted to create the entire commercial all within 24 hours. This means we had to plan, shoot, and edit the entire thing before midnight. Could we do it? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Um, today, it's the same thing as usual. We're shooting another spec ad video. Steven's just getting the car into position here. And then we're gonna shoot the first scene of the day. For the first scene, we are trying to make it look like I am stuck in traffic. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of set design here. So, in addition to our set design, we also have some uh, mirror dice, because that's a classic that you need in your car, as well as we've got this little guy. We were looking for a like a hula girl for the dashboard, but they're surprisingly hard to find, so because we need to make it look like we are in traffic, we gotta get it really, really close to make it look good in the video. So we've got a, we just cut, I think we've got about like, maybe about an inch, two inches. So tons of room, tons of room. The product for the spec ad that we are doing today is this guy. This is, uh, it's called Bubbly Water. It's essentially just soda water, but it's a very popular brand. We thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to make a, a, a video about. And uh, we've got a pretty cool concept, so I'm excited to see how it all comes together. Let me just squeeze in here. Okay, shot number one. We're just getting a shot of the, uh, the dice swinging in the mirror. Okay, sure, for a little bit, first shot complete. We're just uh, moving the cars around to get some more angles and then make sure we have cars in the background of those angles. That was uh, an accident. <laughs> so we've decided that we actually need some shade for this next shot. Um, so we've whipped out the C stand here. Maybe do like a rubbing of your eyes if you're stressed out. Long day at the office. Oh. <laughs> what kind of rubbing of the eyes do I want? Oh. Do I want like that? Just like, just rub your head like this. It looks like you're trying to make some scary face and it's just not working. <laughs> oh, that one had some serious soul to it. Did it? That was good. <laughs> I was feeling that one. Bingo, got the shot. Now we're on to the last shot and this is the most technical shot. This is going to be a match cut. So the idea is to have me sitting in the driver's seat there. I pull up the can of sparkling water. I open it and at once I open it, Boom, everything else changes and we do a match cut to a different location. I think the hardest part is gonna be us lining it all up, um, but that's a problem for future me. Um, anyways, let's get to it. Do you, should I open it and then do like some sort of movement? Yeah, that might be. Actually, no, because if you flint your head, you're gonna have to match that. So I think just like, just do it as if you don't, you're not like, and, like, and then what you do is we're like, huh, what? <laughs> okay, this is the first take, probably one of many. Do a little slight pause before you crack it, but that was decent enough. How does warm bubbly taste? Oh, it's nice and warm. Ew. We're on to take number two. Oh, that was probably perfect. I think we got the shot. Can I move now? <laughs> One sec. Can I move? Yes, you can move. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Nice. We're good. <laughs> And to think that this is all just for one shot. Oh my God. And just like that, we are set up with the shader above and the car seat in the middle of a forest. It's looking pretty good. And Steven here has quite an interesting setup in order to get this match cut perfect. So in order to get the match cut absolutely perfect, what I've done is I've taken the camera and connected it to my computer here. And then on the computer, I'm running a program called Dragon Frame, which is really popular for doing stop motion animation. And the reason that matters is because you can do something called onion skinning, which means I can have the image as a faint ghost image over top of another image. And this is really useful because I can then see a live view of the camera. I can then line everything up, click record, and then we can have the shot match perfectly with the last shot we got in the other location. This is a very janky and complicated setup, but it should do the trick. You could never do this with a Windows computer. <laughs> everything is now in position. It is now time to get the shot. Sit there like you're cracking it. Rotate your head. Oh my god. Okay. Looks kind of surprised. Put your head back. 
Actually, the ideal thing would probably be maybe a tripod to first line up the chair and everything. Right. We do a two-staged approach. Okay, we just finished setting up the initial shot here with the computer. It is significantly harder than we thought it would be. Um, we kind of thought this would be a walk in the park, but it definitely is not. So after probably about like 20 minutes of trying to set it up, we have now got it. So it's time to start filming. Two, one, okay, there and, we go. And three, two, one. Okay, there we go, I think. I think we got it. I there think we, we got go. the shot. We'll have Finally! To, we'll have to check and see if that, that's true. But <laughs> we just threw it into DaVinci just to see how it will uh, how it's coming out and how's it looking, Steven? Take a look at this. Holy whoa! I know! <laughs> it's really good! It's a lot better than I thought it would. I was kind of getting really frustrated there thinking that this is not gonna work and basically this whole thing is going to be a shit show, but it's actually looking quite good. Um, just looking at it now though, I think the only thing that's gonna take away from this ad, if anything, is my horrendous acting skills. Please don't roast me in the comments. <laughs> it's my first time, literally. So it is currently 12.44 right now. It's literally taken us an hour to get that one shot. And uh, how's the storyboard looking? How are, we, how are we doing for shots, Steven? We are about three shots in. That that's great. That's good to hear. So it's been like three hours. We're, we're averaging an hour a shot. This is awesome. We got to pick up the pace. Okay, I think your focus more out there, right? Got the shot. Okay. What wonderful acting! I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, false alarm. Ready? Well, we got it. <laughs> Sweet, got the shot. Okay, that is a wrap for our second location. It's time to move to the third location. So now I have to hike that all the way back to the car. I'm so excited. Oh. Okay, let's head to the next location. Okay, so we are at our second to last location, which is looking kind of downtown, upscale modern. This is gonna be the second spot that Mitchell transports to with the match cut. We got the camera set up here. We've got Steven with the laptop that I can monitor. And now it's time for me to get into position. This is a lot easier to set up than the last one because there's no chair to deal with. It's just my body. So for me, I'm basically holding this right out in front of Mitchell so he can kind of line himself up. And then from there, I'll just click record and it's basically just all on Mitch to act it out. This is the most boring job ever, but someone's gotta do it. Great. Two, one. Yeah, I'm Okay, so we just finished up with that second match cut shot. Now it's time to move on to the other shots. It is currently 3.45, so we're doing okay for time. Okay, now we're just getting the wide establishing shot. We got the shot. So the storyline here is that the guy is kind of becoming aware that he can now teleport with these drinks. So he's getting a little more confident and the idea is that he's gonna run out into traffic and then pull the drink, teleport away just before a car comes and hits him. Okay, awesome, we got the final shot. Now it is time to head to the next location. Okay, we just parked the car back here and now we have to walk to this spot that we're shooting at. Um, it's only about a two kilometer hike which uh, I'm not necessarily looking forward to, as well as we don't have too much time with the sun over there, so we, it might have to turn into a bit of a jog. We got, I don't know, it's just, it is what it is. Okay, we have made it to the second location. It's right here, it doesn't look like much, but this is where we're gonna be getting a product shot of all the cans um, in the water, just cause it'll look nice, especially with the sunset. And then there's also a spot to do a bit of cliff jumping just over this bend here. And uh, I'm gonna be jumping off that for the last scene of this video. But we do need to wait till the sun goes in behind the mountains. So we do have a bit of time, which is good because we happen to beat the sun. Okay, I'm gonna move, go back and the camera. Ooh, the camera did get a little wet there. Oh, how are we doing? Let me uh, 
dry you off there. Okay, we've come to a different location. This one is going to be like an on land kind of hero shot rather than an in the water hero shot. Not too sure how this is gonna turn out either, but we're doing our best. <laughs> like, what I should do, oh, yeah, what I should do is um, I should, we should open this. We should get it all wet and dripping. And then I, I come in, plop it down as if I just came out of the water, right? And I plopped it down and it's wet. This can's wet. Uh, yeah, actually that's not a bad idea. But I'll open this and use some of this bubbly to make myself wet. Okay, making my hand all wet. Ooh, a nice little bath. And then also use some of this to make the can wet. Okay, ready? Uh... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the plan is Steven is here filming and I am going to jump off the rock right there into the water. And the sun has just set, which is perfect for what we're looking for and the kind of lighting that we want. Okay, it's time to get filming. So I've got the camera set up right there. Mitchell is right there on the point and we're about to get the final shot of the video. All he's got to do is just jump into the water and that's it. Okay, are you ready, Mitchell? I think I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. Grab the hat! Where's your hat? Oh. How was that? Yeah! That was good! How'd it look? I think it looked really good. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you go down and leave a like, because it really helps us out. And look at the dedication we're putting into this. Just look at me, I'm soaking wet. Okay, well, it's time to go swimming. This was fun! And just like that, that is all the shots we need for this, so we're gonna quickly pack up everything, head home, start the edit, and get this thing done before midnight. So we'll see you guys back in the office. Hello everybody, this is Mitchell from the future. We're currently piecing the video together and uh, something happened where we happened to lose the final shot where we actually reveal how long it took us to finish the edit and then show you guys the edit. I don't know where it went, um, but we did finish the spec ad in time. We finished it at 11.07 and just to prove it to you, see it says 11.07 p.m. So we did finish it in time. The video came together pretty good. The only thing that's kind of taking away from it is my acting. So bear with us. It's not the best. I'm definitely not an actor uh, and definitely leaves something to be desired. But without further ado, here is the final video. And now for your weather for the Lynchburg area today. Beautiful day outside, high of 52 degrees, low of 30. Huh? A little bit windy outside, winds at 15 miles per hour from the west. So